So, I want to tell you, you know, how I became addicted to energy drinks. Um, so, for those that know, I used to live in Atlanta, you know, less than a year ago, right? And I had a friend. And my friend, he owns, he owns several different businesses. One of them was, you know, a business where, you know, he would sell cars. So, he was a car salesman, right? And he would pick up these cars from title max now for those that don't know you know what title max is or how it works you know the business that is um title max would loan people out money and in return you would give them the title of your car if you do not pay the loan back to title max they will come and pick up your car and it'll be theirs so what title max would do is that they would sell the cars off you know that they owned and some of them they would sell to car dealerships others they would sell to you know personal buyers such as my friend so my friend would get you know a car that might have cost what eight thousand dollars title max would sell it to him for like thirty five hundred or something like that he'll so all he had to do is just you know pick it up pick them up you know um some of these uh title maxes were in i take heat were in atlanta they were in south carolina some were in uh, alabama some might have been like further deep in the Georgia where it took what like for example Savannah Georgia you know where it took three hours to get there right so he got tired of going back and forth and he needed help so what we would do is he would buy a car we would drive his car up to get the car and I would drive the car that he bought back to Atlanta now we did this several weeks right but as we kept on doing it the trips got further and further away you understand so like take for example one of the trips was like from atlanta to alabama the other one was from atlanta to columbia south carolina you know they were just getting further and further out so each time we would you know drive the cars back he would always have to stop at the gas station and get his red bull the tropical or the yellow can right this right here now taking heed, I haven't had one of these in a minute. I just held on to the can as a prop because I knew I was going to eventually do this video, right? So he would get that 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 Red Bull. And I would always joke with him and everything, you know, telling him, you know, you know you're damaging your body because, you know, these 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 are uh, Red Bulls, they have a, a bunch of sugar in them, a bunch of uh, artificial flavors and chemicals, you know, you thinking that you're drinking uh 120 excuse me, 120% vitamin B12, but that's that's not real vitamin B12, it's synthetic. You know what I'm saying? Made in the lab, right? So I would always joke with him and everything, and he he would laugh it off and be like, "Yo, you just don't realize this this gets me back home safe, right?" So to make the long story short, you know, we would go back and forth, back and forth. So as we were going back and forth, you know, getting cars and everything, I would get tired. I started getting tired. You know, these these trips is 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 four hours there, and then we would pick up the car and drive straight back four hours. So we're on the road for eight hours straight, right? So I started getting tired. So I first started drinking like orange juice, right? And I don't know orange juice ain't good. It's pasteurized and it's really not. It's, it ain't even orange. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even know why they call it orange juice because it's yellow. But anyway, you know, I started out drinking orange juice. I started trying to do things, you know, drink stuff that was, way, you know, a little bit more healthier than these energy drinks, right? To the point where one day, I'm not going to lie. I'll never forget it. We was coming back from... Now, we had did a trip yet that day before, right? So, the next day, we was coming back from, I think, Augusta, right? Uh, further out, Augusta, Georgia. So, it was like close to three hours, right? Three hours there, three hours back. Six, six hours. i never forget it because that particular day, I almost died because I fell asleep at the wheel and I woke up like... And I, all I all I felt was that, brand, 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 you know, like when you get on the side of the, of, of the highway, they got those little slits, right? I almost died. So I said, man, listen, man, I, I'm, I'm tired. I don't think I can make it back. We're going to have to stop at the store, right? We stop at the store. He says, man, listen, I'll get you an energy drink. I said, man, 
I don't want it. I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> it was. It was kind of like a. <laughs> it was kind of like a, a drug dealer trying to you know <laughs> get somebody to smoke crack for the first time, right? So, I'm I'm saying I don't want it. I don't want it. But I'm saying to myself, ain't it's no way I'm gonna make it. It's no way I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna wind up crashing the car if I drive in this condition, right? So, he winds up getting the can for me. I drink it. And all of a sudden, power up. I was energized. Like, I was ready. I was I was like an energizer bunny. You know what I mean? Like, I, I drove straight. No restroom breaks or nothing. I didn't need nothing. I didn't eat. I, I, I was just charged up. So then as time goes by, you know, I'm trying my best not to buy one. But, but I'm like, yo, man, can you give me an energy drink? He gets it. Then eventually, of course, you know, the drug dealer stopped supplying. <laughs> supplies, giving you free supply. You can't get high. You can't get high on his, on his supply. You know what I'm saying? So I found myself buying my own joints. Now, here it is. Everybody knows that, that you know, if you, if, you, if you have drunk these energy drinks before, and it's yellow can because they have all, they, right now, they have all types of different flavors. They got coconut. They got a pear. They got cherry, they got fruit punch, they got all very different flavors and everything. So if the regular Red Bull ain't your, your Stilo, <laughs> you might like the tropical one. So I'm buying them and, 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 and everybody knows that these joints is damn near $4 a, 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 a can. And I call this cracking a can because that's exactly what it is. And it'll have you fiending. Because it, it 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 gets it got to the point and it will get to the point if you if you try to drink one, it'll get to the point where you become dependent on it. You feel as though that you need it. And that's how I felt when I would go out and I would drive and pick up these cars and everything. I felt as though that I needed it, so therefore I was depending on it. I was depending on that Red Bull yellow edition, right? So, you know. I would buy them, that's $4 a pop. Let's do the math. Average month is 30 days, 30 times four is $120 a month, which is ridiculous. And then I caught an epiphany one day. I said, you know what? If it gives me wings, as, as, as Red Bull would say, if it gives me wings, if it energizes me, I wonder how it would feel if I worked out, if I drunk this energy drink, Prior to me working out. So I started drinking them prior to me working them out. Work, excuse me, working out. And it gave me energy. And I, I felt good. And then eventually, as I continued to drink them and drink them and drink them and drink them, I started to feel the side effects. I was irritable all the time. I was emotional when I wasn't drinking them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was a downer. Like it would, it would shoot you up. You'll get a whole bunch of energy. And then after that, it'll shoot you back down. And the next thing you know, you are drowsy all the time. And I found myself, and when I caught myself, is when I started drinking two a day. And then I knew that, hey, listen, I have a habit. Just like I had a bad habit when I used to smoke cigarettes. Just like I had a bad habit when I used to be an abusive drinker. When I used to drink wine every day. Or beer. Or alcohol. You know, every day. And I saw that I had a problem. That that energy drink was a crutch. And I let it go. It wasn't overnight. But I let it go. And I'm here to tell you. The moral of the story is. You don't have to depend on things. You don't have to depend on cigarettes to make you feel good. I remember I used to smoke a cigarette and I used to be like, it, it, you know, cigarettes calm me down. How? How can smoke coming into, in, in, when you're inhaling it, how can you, how can, how can smoke and fire cool you down? That doesn't make sense. You have to light the cigarette up. The cigarette has to be hot and you have to pull the cigarette and, and, and smoke enters into your body. Or I used to be like beer or, or liquor would cool me down. How is that? When when you consume alcohol, alcohol actually heats you up. So my point in making is that any bad habit, whether it's drinking, smoking, drinking energy drinks, is a bad habit. And you don't need it. It's a crutch. It's something that you depend on. And when I gave it up, guess what? That same type of energy that I had in the gym prior to me drinking energy drinks and while in the midst of me drinking it, I had it. 
And point blank, when it comes to driving long distance, guess what? If I'm not, if I can't afford to pull over and take a nap or two, then I don't need to be doing that job. So eventually, you know, before I left Atlanta, you know, I stopped, you know, driving for him and everything. You know, we didn't have no fallout. It was just like a little disagreement. And I'm glad that it happened because that helped me stop drinking him. You know what I'm saying? But I would encourage you, for those out there drinking these energy drinks, put them down, put them down, put them down. I know a lot of professionals out there that, you know, you work your nine to five, you pick one of these up before you go to work. Some of y'all pick one of those cans up before you go to work along with a cigarette. When you, when, you, when you take your lunch break, you drink one. I know some of y'all will go to the store and buy a 12 pack or four, well these come in four packs. I advise you that um, it's a bad habit and you have to definitely check yourself just like I did and realize I'm, I'm dependent on this and I have to let it go. It's an expensive habit, $120 a month for this. For those that drink two or three a day, for those have been that have been drinking them for a year or two, and you wondering why you can't pay you struggling to pay your your bills, I mean, you spending about three four hundred dollars a year on this, on this on these on these drinks. So, I advise you check yourself like I did. Other than that, I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share this video.